Afghan Kamali, Muhammad Alam Khan, came to Australia in the 1800s. Known to in history as Muhammad Alam, he became famous as a herbalist and healer, nicknamed the Wonder Man. Rich, poor, country and city folk flocked to his clinic, seeking his natural remedies and cures based on traditional Afghan and Islamic medicine. His theories on medicine were unorthodox. His remedies for illnesses included honey, black seed and dates. Muhammad Alam never charged for his services at his clinic, but most of his patients left donations. And as people flocked to him, just by donations alone, he became a very wealthy man. He gave generously to the Afghan and European poor, a requirement of his Muslim faith. During the Great Depression, he regularly sent money, food and clothing to the families of the unemployed in Adelaide, but it took a turn. Muhammad Alam, healer, philanthropist, popular Afghan, became an embarrassment to the authorities. His display of wealth, his practices of fringe medicine, popularity and huge following became highly suspicious to the authorities. And in 1934, the state government taxed Muhammad several hundred pounds based on an amount he had distributed to the poor of Adelaide. Muhammad was taken to court. It was found he was practicing medicine illegally and was fined. The conviction only increased the number of patients that wanted to see him about their ailments. The healer was in such a remarkable condition that he rarely became ill. And at 81 years old, he married Effie Schwatt, who had embraced Islam, and they had a daughter together. In 1953, when Effie was 33 years old, their daughter 12 years old, and Muhammad 96 years old, the family went to Afghanistan for a visit. Muhammad refused his family smallpox inoculations, saying it was against his beliefs. And while they were in Afghanistan, Effie contracted smallpox and died. The old man made the pilgrimage to Mecca before returning to Australia with his daughter. The daughter blamed the father for her mother's death and she left her father and was taken into custody. As time progressed, he disliked the rushed way of life and longed for the Camille days. And by 1964, at 108 years old, Muhammad Alam died. The funeral procession was more than a mile long, made up of hundreds, perhaps thousands, of sad patients, expatients and followers. He was one of the last of the original Afghans that changed Australia with medicine and charity.